Okay, polar form of conics in rectangular form. And we're given a question, r is equal to 4 divided by 1 minus sine of theta. So we need to find the eccentricity and the directrix. So we know that r is ed, and this is 1 minus e sine of theta from previous lessons. So the eccentricity is going to just be 1 in this case. And we also know if it's equal to 1, if e is equal to 1, we're going to have a parabola. So the directrix is ed. So 4 multiplied by 1, so the directrix is 4. And because we're looking at minus sine, it's going to be y is at the line minus 4. So what do we know about a parabola? Well, the rectangular form is x minus h squared is equal to 4p y minus k. So we need to get the values of h, k, and p so we can substitute into our formula. So to do that, let's sketch what it's going to look like. So here's our focus. And we know our directrix is at y is equal to minus 4. So this distance here is going to be 4. Now, our shape of our parabola is going to be like this. And this is going to be our point of our vertex. Now, we don't know the point, but we need to find it. And this here will be P for our equation. So what we need to do is look at our formula for R and theta. And we're going to find this distance here. So we're going to look at the R and the theta, so this is going to be the angle, and this is at 3 pi over 2. So we need to substitute this into our formula. So r is equal to 4, 1 minus, and is sine of 3 pi over 2. So if we work that out, that's 1 minus minus 1, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So we know that this distance here, p, is going to be 2. So p is 2. So now we need to find our h and our k. Now we know the vertex is going to be 2, and it's from the focus, which is 0, 0. So this will tell us that the distance of p, so the vertex, so our vertex is going to be at 0, minus 2. Now we can use this. This is our, going to be our h and our k value. So we've got all the information we need. So we just substitute this now all into our equation for a parabola. So we've got h, sorry, x minus and h is 0 squared is 4 times p, and p, we found out, is 2, multiplied by y minus, and k is minus 2. So x squared is going to be 8 multiplied by y plus 2. And if we simplify, so 8, 8y eight plus 16, and this is our equation. Now we could also do this algebraically. So let's have a look. So this is method 2. So if we have 4, r is equal to 4, 1 minus sine of theta. So we're going to multiply both sides. So we multiply both sides by 1 minus and 1 minus sine of theta. And if we do that, 
And this will simplify. So we're going to be left with r multiplied by 1 minus sine of theta is equal to 4. So there's a few things that we need, need to know. So we know that r squared is y, uh, x squared plus y squared. And we also know that r is equal, sorry, not r, x is equal to r cosine of theta and y is r sine of theta. So we can use this and simplify so and substitute to get our equation. So 1 minus, we're going to multiply out, so r minus r sine of theta equals 4. And now r sine theta, so we know r sine theta is equal to y. So we can replace that with y. And now we're going to take y to the other side by adding y to both sides. So we'll have r is equal to 4 plus y. And now we can square both sides. So if I square both sides, r squared, so we know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, so we can substitute that. So x squared plus y squared. And now if we expand this, we're going to have 16 plus 8y plus y squared. And our y's will simplify and we'll have x squared is equal to 8y plus 16.